The New Zealand Stock Exchange has continued to underperform in 2024. The leading index, the NZX50, is pretty much flat for the first six months of this year. For the same time period, Australia's ASX200 is up 4%, and America's S&P 500 is up 18%, making our market look subpar. In this video, I'll uncover 10 stocks that have bucked the trend and have actually seen their stock price rise. In Stockopedia's screening tool, I've isolated New Zealand stocks, specifically those that have seen their price increase year to date in 2024. Of the 115 companies Stockopedia picks up from New Zealand, just 27 have seen an increase in their stock price for the year to date. If we take out the minnows with a market capital of under 20 million New Zealand dollars, we're left with just 23 stocks. At the top of the list, we have Being AI, which got a lot of fanfare a couple months ago when it first listed. In the first half of 2024, its price soared over 300%. Broadly speaking, Being AI invests in AI portfolio companies, patents AI related software, and consults on others using AI in their businesses. Just having the word AI in their name got many investors excited, with many on sharesies complaining their orders weren't being processed as the buying pressure was too great. It reminds me a bit of Eric Watson's Long Island Iced Tea Company. They changed their name during the crypto craze to Long Blockchain Corp and saw their stock price rally 200%. AI, like blockchain, is the latest buzzword in technology investing circles. We wait to see what being AI can do with their $120 million capitalization. In second place is the market's former favorite stock, A2 Milk. Unlike recent years, 2024 has been kind, with their stock price rising over 60%. After a rough couple years and a shakeup of the management team, A2 Milk is coming back strong and has seen its performance start to climb once again. They are a large exporter of milk products, especially infant formulas, into markets like China and the United States. A2 milk is widely reported to be more gentle on stomachs than regular milk, which benefits those with lactose intolerance. East Asia, one of A2 milk's largest markets, has among the highest rates of lactose intolerance anywhere in the world. Alongside increasing revenue and profitability, investors also took solace in regulatory changes in China that benefited A2 milk. This also saw large investors start to buy in, including Vanguard and Goldman Sachs. Daigo channels, or grey market imports, are also said to have rebounded strongly since the drastic falls we saw during the pandemic. Third up is Gentrack, which saw their stock price soar around 59% for the year. They specialise in providing clean tech solutions to the utilities sector, such as water and energy. Their software integrates with the likes of Amazon Web Services, Salesforce, Snowflake, among many others, to drive better performance in utility companies. As the world becomes more green, using state-of-the-art technology and analytics will be key to eliminating inefficiencies in the delivery of water and energy services. Gentrack has seen steady stock price growth over the past three years, up from $2 three years ago to $10 today. Over the same time, their revenue has increased 70%. Fourth is Tower, which saw a 50% increase in its stock price in 2024 to date. Tower is one of New Zealand's major insurance companies, mainly covering houses and vehicles. They also operate in the Pacific Islands, with subsidiaries in Fiji and the Cook Islands. Over the past five years, its stock price has been flat. But 2024 has been kind, and their price has soared, increasing from $0.60 cents in January to $0.90 cents in July. Tower has repeatedly given the market a lot of confidence. In January, they told the market to expect full-year profits of between $22 and $27 million. In February, they told investors to expect profits to be at the upper end of this range. In April, they came back once again to revise this expectation up to $35 million. And in June, it was once again increased to $40 million. After a rough 2023, when profits took a dive, 2024 is gearing up to be a great year for Tower, which investors have obviously been excited about. Fifth, we have Black Pearl, which rose 38% in the first half of 2024. They operate in the IT space, specifically on delivery delivering cloud-based data solutions to customers around the world. Data is at the core of what they do, with one proprietary software helping identify sales prospects based on their digital footprint. Another one of their softwares transforms a simple email into a retargeting tool, and another that manages company email signatures. So while they manage these softwares, they also look for new ones to acquire. 
particularly where the target sectors have high customer acquisition costs. The company announced in March that they've surpassed $1 million in recurring revenue, a 177% year-on-year increase. Profitability remains poor, however. Sixth up, we have livestock improvement, up about the same as Black Pearl at 38%. Livestock improvement is a farmer-owned agri-tech cooperative that has operated in New Zealand for over 100 years. It is said that 75% of New Zealand's dairy cows were sired by livestock improvement bulls. Alongside their dominant position in herd genetics, they also have a range of agri-tech services that work to improve farm performance. A lot of their stock price appreciation came in the first half of the year, oddly, when in February they announced revenue was down 3%, net profit down 13%, and their earnings forecast was unchanged. Against the low milk price environment, investors seem to be happy with their performance relative to the market. In seventh, we have Vista International, up 35%. Vista is a cinema-focused company with many services to the industry. Their software helps with cinema management, analytics, marketing, box office reporting, and film distribution. Vista's top line has returned to its pre-COVID peaks, however profitability is taking a little bit longer. In February, we heard that revenue increased 6% for the year, and they're on target to be free cash flow positive by the fourth quarter of 2024. In the month trailing that announcement, the stock price popped by 25%. The stock also increased in May when the private equity group Potentia took an 18.5% stake in Vista. With people starting to return to the cinemas, expectations of positive free cash flow by the end of the year and a major sale to a private equity fund, Vista has had a great start to the year. In eighth, we have Radius Residential Care, which unusually jumped 31%. While its revenue continues to climb and profits continue to fall, investors were very interested in the stock in 2024. Radius operates 27 aged care facilities across New Zealand. Some of these they own, others they rent. In April, investors rushed into the stock on news that the company had cleared its short-term debt and planned to resume paying dividends. By the end of May, the stock responded well again to the release of their full-year results. Debt was eliminated while profits climbed. Forsyth Bar also put out an analyst report on June 20th where they valued the company at 26 cents a share. At the time, the price was only trading at 14 cents. The price shortly after spiked up to 21 cents before winding back to 19. So Radius investors have Forsyth Bar to thank for a lot of their upside. Ninth up, we have Erode, which saw its stock price increase about 26%. Erode is a technology-focused company servicing the transport sector. Fleet management and having access to real-time data is driving efficiencies in the sector, with Eero providing a lot of the hardware and software to manage this. They saw a lot of their growth over the past couple months on the back of positive financial news in May, and the signing up of a new client with Eero servicing a minimum fleet of 5,000 vehicles. So these two pieces of news gave E-Road investors a great return for the first half of the year. And finally, we have Fisher & Paykel Healthcare in 10th spot, with their stock price rising 25%. This company isn't the same one that manufactures fridges, but it's a spin-off that manufactures much more lucrative healthcare equipment. With a market cap of just under $30 billion, it is one of the largest companies on the New Zealand Stock Exchange. This also means that many Kiwis have a little bit of this company in their KiwiSaver funds. Throughout 2024, the company has seen steady growth with no one event causing a major increase in investment activity. In March, they announced an upgrade in their annual earnings, and in May, those earnings were announced and they came in rosy. The company expects 2025 revenue to land at least 9% higher than it was in 2024, and an expansion in their gross margin which will flow through to their profitability. A couple brokerages also increased their valuations on the back of this news, with Morningstar increasing theirs to $25 a share and Jefferies to $26.50. These are positive signs and investors have continued buying on the back of this news. Alongside the 10 stocks that I've covered in this video, we also had Meridian Energy, Fonterra, Contact and Infratil all increased by at least 10% year to date. Hallensteins, Channel Infrastructure, New Zealand Rural Land and Wind Farms, Mercury, General Capital, Two Cheap Cars and NZX all rose by single digits as well. So that rounds out today's video. 90% of you are yet to subscribe to my channel. Subscribing is important as it increases the reach of my videos and encourages me to make more content just like this. The software that I used in today's video is from a company called Stockopedia. They are offering a discount of 20% on their annual plans for the next couple weeks. So if you want to check them out, you can do so at the link provided down below. Thanks for watching the video and I look forward to catching you on the next one. Cheers.